Hello Libras, this is Psychic Gigi. Welcome back for your March 2022 love reading. Libras, um, as I was meditating on your um, reading, I'm getting, you guys have a lot of abundance around you. So let's see what um, unfolds for Libras for the month of March 2022. Guys, please like, share, and subscribe. My information is listed below if you would like a private reading with me. Again, this is a general reading, so um, take what you want and leave what it doesn't serve you. Let's go ahead and see Libras, 2022. Show me Libra, yeah, Libras. Okay, so the first thing that I'm getting, um, and this is not for everyone. Again, this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you and leave what does not. Um, if you would like a more personal, in-depth reading, my information is listed below. Libras, I feel like your main focus is and has been on your finances, your career. I do get new energy coming towards you. Um, this could be new opportunities and... This helps you release like um, fears. So you're kind of um, getting to a point in your financial, and I know this is a love reading, but this is coming up, guys, and this is the energy that I'm feeling. So Libras, I feel like you're letting your guard down because new opportunities are coming towards you. So it's helping you also regain your confidence, which is also going to help you... Um, Feel more confident in yourself but I, I also feel like you you guys are working on um yeah see there's we have the six of pentacles so it looks like there's new opportunities coming towards you in your career and the ace of cups um is just showing me that there there's definitely some struggles in around your your love relationship but you're trying to stay balanced and using like that more nurturing caring side Show me Libra's love life from March 2020. What are they going to say? Okay. <laughs> okay, Libra's. And you know what? This makes sense. I feel like there could be somebody that you're a little bit frustrated. You're, you're not, you're feeling like it's not moving and you're getting there. You're showing me impatience. So some of you could be a little bit impatient regarding a relationship that actually is coming. For some of you, I will tell you this, like Mars is in your um, love planet and it's like traveling through Venus. Until like the 12th of this month. So you're kind of being shown like romantic relationships. There are opportunities, but I feel like you have your focus more on your like your social like you're getting out, you're beginning to see like what options are available towards me. Let's go ahead and see. I'm going to push this aside for a second. Let's go ahead and see Libra's what. Um, I'm going to kind of get a little clarification regarding this um, disappointment in around your love situation. I feel like it's for some of you, it could be something you've been dealing for with like five to six years or, or six to seven, six to seven years. Yeah. Okay, Libras. I feel like you've been hopeful and calm regarding this um, past connection. And I don't feel like um, there's a lot of a movement. It's not moving the way that you want. You're impatient regarding this, this movement regarding this person that you're currently dealing with. And you have a desire to kind of, you're, you're, you're done, Libras. Okay, so I feel like you, are, you guys are doing a lot of self-evaluation. This is the wish card. So um, for some of you, you've been manifesting um, a long-term commitment or more stability or the wishes, the desires and the wishes that you want in, in your particular relationship at the time, even if you're not happy with them, you're still, you still have hope, you still have faith, but you don't want to be tied and restricted anymore to just this one connection. I do feel like, um, for some of my Libras, you guys have other opportunities 
and you're ready to kind of move on. Yeah, this makes, so I feel like for some of you, you have a playful attitude. You don't want to fight. You know, you're not looking to argue with this person. You understand that their behavior, um, they need to work on themselves. They need to do some self-evaluation. Um, and for some of you, you're like, you know what? I accept them for who they am, but I'm not getting what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. What's coming in? Okay. Yeah, they're, they keep showing up. That kind of flew out, guys. Again, I feel like maybe they would want me to tell you more about this past, this um, current or past connection. Um, I feel like their energy is back and forth. They like to be in control in this situation. And they also delay communication. Um, or when they do speak, <laughs> you're, um, you're like, what did you just say? <laughs> They do have a desire to continue the connection with you, but they want it their way, Libras. And I feel like for some of you, you're like, mm, uh, okay, you can think like you can have it your way, but that's that's not going to happen. If they don't put the work and the effort in, Libras, I feel like you're not going to. Yeah, it's going to be them putting the work and the effort in, trying to keep that connection flowing. Because you have... Um, you, got, you have other things to do. You guys are focused on your career, your work, your finances. Let's just go ahead and, um, I just want to move this just a little bit more. Let's just take that. Go ahead. Let's see what the final outcome is for March 2022 for my Libras. Love. Oh, okay. Let's see what's going on. Libras, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Two, three. Okay. Um, Libra, so for, for some of you, I'm getting um, this connection from your past has created you um, or has made you feel like you know that the love is there, you see the connection, and you're, you're frustrated with trying to get them to see the connection. Your intuition's on target, um, but it's almost like for some of you, when you go to approach the subject, they don't want to hear it. They're like, oh no, I don't want to go there. I'm too scared. You are finding, again, here you are. You have some regrets from the past, but I do see for Libras, like you have a playful attitude this month and there are, I don't want to, I get romance is in the air is what spirit is showing me. Like romance is in the air for the, um, for some of you and you do have other options and you're exploring these options. I, I'm getting the number 20. This, this could be around the 20th of the month that you're going to have a more playful attitude and just experience what your options are. Um, I also feel like for some of you, um, you're going to be very socially active and you're going to have to find balance between work and love and your social activities because you guys are out and about. So let's go ahead and... Um, I'm going to pull... The hidden truth. Let's find out what the hidden truth of your person. What are, what are they feeling? What are their emotions and feelings? It's time for me to heal. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, um, Libras, that you are dealing with somebody who has um, commitment issues. And their energy is back and forth. And they do need to do some healing from their past love or past, um, could be childhood trauma. Um, like they might not be happy. I wish I could share my good news with you. Yeah, because they're silent. And um, even though you're impatient with them right now, they're working hard to work on their flaws. They're not, they'll come back to you when they know um, they're going to come back to you when they see, when you see they've made some changes. And you're more open and accepting. Show me one more. How are they feeling? What would they like to say? What is the hidden truth? Yeah, I hid who I really am. I, I feel like they hid who they really are, really were from you. But they, I feel like they didn't know who they were. Because they, they were in a process of healing. You guys could have been healing together for some of you. It might not resonate with all of you. Let's go ahead and just pull out what is... Libras need to know regarding their March 2020 romance. Love. Let's see what's going on. Let's pull a romance. 
Yeah. Um, for some of you, you could be dealing with this past life. Like you've known each other before. I feel like um, Libras, um, just to sum it up, I feel like you're focused on your career and your finances while past life relationship. Uh, irony of that, right? Um, because this person from your past, possibly in your present, and and they could be in your present right now because they're, you know, you're energetically like just um, overthinking, um, trying to figure out how you can release yourself from feeling so trapped and restricted. Um, for some of you, you might have even have turned your back on that specific goal or idea that you might have had in the past. Like you, you, you've kind of evolved spiritually and transformed and you're like, you know what, if it happens, it happens. I'm willing to wait for what I desire, like what I want, what I need in my life, especially in, in terms of, um, relationships. For some of you, I feel like you find more balance, um, towards the end of the month because you have a lot of um, social activities to attend and this, this also opens up new opportunities coming in for new love. Um, but I still feel like that energy is still um, from your past is still very present even if they're not talking to you. Okay, Libras, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share. And comment on my videos if you'd like the reading done in a certain way. If I haven't posted your um, astrological sign and you want me to um, go ahead and do one uh, specific area, go ahead and um, I'm, I'm open to new ideas. So again, please like, share, and subscribe if you'd like a personal reading. My information is listed below. Okay, talk to you soon.